Hey guys, and welcome to part 20 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we caught ourselves a Magna Mind, and we helped out Watson, which is nice because he's an insane guy who would probably stab us up pretty bad if we didn't help him out. So as you saw just there, what I showed off is that I did level off, level up Marmite off screen. As you can see, he's now level 28, so you won't have to, you know, I won't be waiting around or just trying to grind the same Pokemon because that got really dull with Floss. I think I also leveled up Floss as well to level 28. I didn't quite catch the recording but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So we're going to keep heading our way to the next town or the next gym. On the way here we find a, a fishing guy who likes fishing rods. So he gave us one. So that's quite nice just because we complimented his rod. And there's nothing dirty about that sentence. That's just the fact. We said he had a good rod and he gave us a good rod. So here's a new Pokemon we haven't seen before, Laundre or Loudred. I think yeah, Loudred. Who's you know, kinda interesting. <laughs> it I yeah, it's a new Pokemon from the third generation. I don't really know much about it. I don't know where you could catch it. I mean it doesn't really I think it's a normal type, although I really don't know. You know, there's a load of types in Pokemon, or the further you go along in the generations, you kinda notice how they could be any types, some of these Pokemon. Back in the day, it was like, that thing's on fire, it's a fire type. That thing shoots electric out of its face, that's an electric type. But as you go further along, it's like, uh, that's... It's a thing, <laughs> and it does stuff, I don't really know. So yeah, that's Loudred. And we're actually fighting the TV news reporter and camera guy that we fought before, and didn't really have a great time doing, if I'm being quite honest. Well, it was alright, but, you know, it's nice to do a double battle from time to time. Yeah, I did. Floss is now level 28, so there won't be any bias towards what Pokemon I send out. Well, obviously there will be for strategy and all that, but I won't be just be sending out Floss, so... This whole Let's Play won't be me killing Floss because it's weak. <laughs> absolutely. Oh yeah, that is the quote I gave you. <laughs> it was absolutely, to be fair, though. I can't... That's exactly what happened and how it went down. And again, I was like, okay, this time I'm going to be a bit more careful and see what I can what this actually means. And again, <laughs> I was like, okay, arena trap, I guess that will be good as part of an interview. I don't know if that's my, like, that's how I rated the battle, arena trap. Whatever, you know, it's just the words. Just words. So currently at the moment of recording, now that we have a, you know, spare moment, killing another tentacle that we've done thousands of times before, that's in Boxing Day today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Diddy Kong Racing Specials, or if you didn't watch them, check them out, because this will be put up, like, afterwards, I think. In case you're wondering, the reason, like, the reason why I didn't put up any parts for a week is because of the holidays, because I was doing stuff, so I would have to, like, try and find some time to actually record to put out parts, because I actually did have a couple parts ready, but I don't want to keep talking about this, but yeah, pretty much... I was busy, so I couldn't really make any new parts, so... Steven, it's me, Steven! Well, yeah, I know it's Steven. You said your own name, then a colon, so it's obviously you. Steven colon, how's it going, Tom? Uh, sounds pretty cool, I guess. See you later, Steven. Steven's a weird character. Like, he's there, and he comes up and talks to you occasionally. But you have no obligation to him, but he just seems to like you for some reason. I, I really don't know why. It's a really confusing character that they throw in there. They have quite a lot of characters in um, this generation, I would say, that are kind of a bit pointless. Well, not completely pointless, but you have Mei, who's your rival who's slacking. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Pokemon, I mean, she's like... She's alright, but she's definitely the worst rival out there. Actually, no, that's not true. I prefer Mei to... Um, Owl from the fourth gen. But yeah, then so you also have Wally who just shows up occasionally for no reason. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, it's Wally, he sucks, help him out. Oh, you, you didn't help him out, you beat him up and sent him running. Sad face. And then there's now Steven who they're just throwing at you for no reason, you know? It's like May's only pretty much there, so you have to do a rival battle. I think they were trying to move away from the idea of having a rival in this generation, like they didn't want to really do that anymore, or didn't really have any ideas for it, but they couldn't completely tear it out of the game because it was such a big part of the first gen and the second gen, but uh, maybe they would have been better off just getting rid of rivals, you know? 
like going for what they did in the fifth gen and just creating a whole new story. I mean, that kind of worked. <clears throat> so here we go. But this part of the game, or I think not, maybe a couple of parts ago, is where this game really starts to pick up. I would say. Um, with the first two generations, I would say that the first half is better than the second half. But this is the game where the second half is definitely better than the first half. Um, some people were probably put off by this game saying, Oh, it's just the same as the first and second gen. And they're obviously people that only played like the first two gyms max, or the third, maybe the third gym. But the more you play this game, the more you really get out of it. You see more different types of Pokemon, you know, you do double battles, you see different gyms, you see interesting towns, the routes are more varied than... You know, the, the, the routes are better designed and more varied than the first and second generation as you go further along. So, it's kind of a shame that people kind of dismiss this generation because they clearly didn't play it that much, you know? Now, as you know, I think this is the worst generation, but it's definitely not bad, and it has some really great qualities to it, and it's really fun, you know? It So, uh, you know, if you only... If you're watching this Let's Play, you probably did play up to this point, but I don't know if you agree with me, but yeah, the more you get into this game, the more you see, the more you get out. So, because at first it's like, oh, another starter, oh, the rival's not as good, oh, a forest, that's original, oh, a rock gym, great, <laughs> done this all before. But then you get into it, and it's actually really awesome, you know? I'm just saying, give it a chance, if you're out there thinking, maybe I should play it, this is... I know it may seem like, oh, it only gets good after, like you know, four gyms. So, sounds like Final Fantasy 13, which I disagree with what people say about it, but that's for another time. It is actually really good. So if you go into this tall grass, it pretty much acts as wild grass, but there's actually trainers in it and it's, you know, looks tall. It's very tall looking. And we actually do have some new Pokemon here that you can catch if you want it. We're the Mimic Circle. We'll mimic you. I'm not too sure what he said. <laughs> Ah, Skirkit. Skirkit. <laughs> yeah, after you may... Yeah, you kind of have to get through that whole beginning or that whole bit from around fighting your dad. I know I phrased that terribly, but... Because you don't really see any more new routes, you don't really see anything new. But oh, you still have to, like... And then you have to backtrack, but... Yeah, now, as you can see, we're fighting trainers, we're seeing new Pokemon, we're actually heading somewhere, so... It's kind of a shame that it dips and you have to do with that backtracking because once you get to actually exploring new areas it's ten times better and really fun. So we have Gloom which we haven't actually seen before. Ton of odd oddages. <laughs> oddages. God I'm I'm tired. I can't be bothered to speak today. Christmas is tiring. But yeah Gloom we haven't seen that before. We've seen Oddish a ton of times. It's weird. The weird thing with Oddish is that that's always the Pokemon they try and force on you. Like that's, uh, if you want a Grass Pokemon, you that's pretty much the one they want you to have, or that's always usually available. Like you can just go and catch an Oddish and have it. But Oddish, Gloom, and Fileplume aren't great, which is kind of a shame. So one thing I would like to mention in this part, you may, you probably didn't notice it, but. Um, the last few parts, actually, with my technical difficulties and all that, I've kind of changed the way I've recorded. Yeah, because this bit's boring, so I'm going to talk whatever the hell I feel like. Um, I oh, know it's not. This is an um, Brillum, which I think, I think, don't quote me on this, I think it's another way of evolving Gloom, or if not Gloom, another grass sort of Pokemon. I Don't quote me on that, I think that's what it is. It's like there's a second stage grass Pokemon that you can evolve in a different way and you'll get this Pokemon that's actually pretty badass. It's grass slash fighting type so it learns some really great moves and so it can learn grass moves as well and some really powerful fighting attacks so I can't remember exactly how to get it because I've never actually bothered. <laughs> I haven't played this generation that much but yeah that's definitely a Pokemon I would recommend looking into and exploring. I need another Pokemon that confused me. I always, back when I was younger, saw that as one of the evolutions of Chikorita from the second gen. You know, it just kind of looks like its final form a bit. Can't remember what that's called either. God, I'm so good with names and information, aren't I? God, for an LP, I just know nothing. Although LPers, most LPers know nothing anyway, so... But yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it's n it doesn't really affect you, but you may notice some differences that instead of fast-forwarding 
instead of fast forwarding um, the footage once I've recorded it, now I'm re fast forwarding battles, you know, in real time. So I'm just like, I'll, because you know, with the official boy advance, you can just, you know, skip and speed up certain parts. So, you know, it's just because it's now in HD, or you know, technically, you well, YouTube thinks it's in HD, although clearly this is not high definition graphics. But yeah, now it's in HD, it's just a lot easier for me to do it like this way. So, yeah, and here's a little slope thing. These damn slopes return in Pearl and or Diamond and Pearl for whatever reason. But yeah, you have to actually use your bike to get up there. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do in the fourth gen. And I thought I actually went... I think I do go back and actually do it, but... I don't know, it seems weird that it makes you... Like, the bike isn't something that, that is that essential. Or it never seems that important to me anyway, but for some reason they force you to have it. I don't get it. Here's a Pokemon I haven't mentioned before, Ninch... Ninchkar. This generation actually introduces quite a few bug Pokemon, and most of them are actually pretty decent. Uh, I don't actually catch one in this... Um, playthrough or I won't be catching one in this let's play because I already have gummy or dust tox. I mean the reason I got dust tox is because I saw it straight away. I mean I might have considered just holding out and getting a different getting one of these Pokemon instead or Fold Beat or something like that, but yeah this generation really does there's a load of cool new bug Pokemon to catch. Which I like bug Pokemon so it's pretty cool but you know I can't have a whole squad of bug Pokemon. That would kinda suck. There's actually no Caterpie and Weedles to be found. I think that's why there's a load of new bug Pokemon. Oh, right, what's going on here? It's only Team Aqua. Okay, I definitely won't go into the Weather Institution. Or Institute. This is also an area I quite like. Um, won't really have that much time. We don't have that much time left to get through that much part. Well, God damn it, I'm really tired, guys. <laughs> I'm just tripping over my words at the moment. Yeah, we don't have that much time to explore all of this place, but this place is great, you know? Like another little added, like added thing into this game, you know, that makes it interesting. Like they could have just left it so you go to the next gym straight away, like why not? But no, there's this extra little place that you explore and some extra battles to do. I mean, I know it's not 100% original because in the other generations you do stuff like this, fighting evil doers. <laughs> as they stand around pointlessly in a building, scheming. But yeah, I, I thought this place was good. Because one of the things I don't really like is when they make them overcomplicated. And I know what you're saying, like, Honest Tom 23, stop being such a dumbass and just put up with it. The puzzles aren't that hard. I know they're not that hard, but it's just nice to, you know, go to a place like this where all you're pretty much doing is fighting Team Aqua and just getting some XP and, you know, doing something a bit different. And you don't have to, like, get hopelessly lost like trying to find that damn card key from um, that building that one time. And you can see Marmite, pretty damn good, yeah? Marmite, it, Magnemite is actually really good. The main problem with it is that its attack is really low, but that does mean that its special attack is really high, so as long as you teach it like Thunder Shock, Spark, Thunderbolt, Thunder, I guess, then you're, you're not going to have that much of a problem, but do be aware that its normal attack is pretty damn awful, so... But overall, I still liked it, you know. It really did help out in this place because they all have Subats and things like that, so. Having an electric Pokemon is actually really handy. And I really like it anyway. Because <laughs> at the moment, I have Eric and Marmite out, which are my two Pokemon with electric type attacks, so that's pretty, pretty handy. And because it's Team Aqua, I thought, you know, electricity, they're called Team Aqua, I can just, like, kill you with lightning. <laughs> I'll sush your ass. But of course I switch out for Floss, you know, gotta, you got to share the XP, share the wealth, share the XP. But we're coming to the end of the part here, going to end it a bit, well not early really, but yeah, in the next part, well, next time in Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we will be exploring the rest of this place, so been Honest Tom 23 and hopefully I'll see you next time.